Hi, I'm Chris Smith with SolidBox, bringing you another technical tip. Let's take a look. Today, I'm going to show you how to remap your user folders from the C drive to the D drive. Why would you want to do this? Well, one of the big advantages of having two hard drives installed in a computer is having your personal data separated from your operating system. That way, should you ever need to reinstall Windows, you won't be wiping away all your data by default. So let's go over how to do that right now. So you go to Users, and in my case, Admin. You can see all the user folders are currently mapped to the C drive. C, Users, Admin. Now we can't just drag and drop these folders to remap them. We actually need to change the properties of each folder. Let's do that right now. Right click on the folder and select Properties and then go to the Location tab. Change the C to a D and then hit OK, Yes, and Yes and you're good to go. It usually takes a little bit for the change to take effect. Now let's move on to the next one. From here, I know that I need to hit the Enter key three times, so I just do that in quick succession to save time. You won't be able to remap every single folder, so I'll show you one that doesn't let you do that. With the OneDrive folder, you'll see that it doesn't have the Location tab on the property screen, so we won't be able to remap that one, but we can do the others. My Share File folder is the same way, but I believe it can be remapped in the Program Settings. Now each of my user folders have been mapped to the D drive. Let's go to my Data Drive, Users, and then Admin. You can see all of the user folders are now there. We do this by default whenever you buy a solid box with two hard drives installed in it. However, if you create a new Windows user for the computer after you receive it, you'll need to follow this same process. Well, thanks for joining me. Be sure to tune in for more technical tips in the future. Go to mysolidbox.com for all your CAD hardware needs and feel free to reach out anytime if you have any questions. Our contact info is listed below.